Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, pentagon uh, A, B, C, D, E. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, A, E length uh, is 11 units, whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, C, D length uh, is uh, 22 units. And moreover, uh, this side A, B length uh, equal to this side B, C length and also this side uh, DE length and furthermore uh, these uh, angles uh, are uh, our 90 degree angles and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pentagon please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we can see that uh, this side uh, a b equal to this side uh, b c and this angle is a 90 degrees angle we are going to think outside the box and we have created uh, this uh, right triangle d e f such that uh, we are going to get uh, this uh, square uh, a b c f and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, pentagon area is going to be equal to the area of this whole uh, square ABCF minus uh, the area of this right triangle uh, DEF. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, square and the area of this uh, triangle uh, DEF uh, as well. And now let's assume that this uh, AB side length uh, is uh, X then this uh, BC length uh, has got to be X Likewise, this whole side is going to be x uh, and this side is uh, x uh, across the board. So therefore, we can see that this uh, FD segment length has got to be x uh, minus uh, 22. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, EF length is going to be x uh, minus uh, 11. And furthermore, uh, we know that this uh, side uh, d e length uh, equal to this uh, b c length this is uh, x so therefore uh, this d e length has got to be x as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle d e f and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem uh, to solve for uh, x value and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, x whereas our two other legs are uh, x minus 11 and x minus uh, 22. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, minus 11 uh, square plus uh, x uh, minus uh, 22 square is going to be equal to x square. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2 times a b plus uh, b square and we are going to apply this identity on these uh, two binomials on the left hand side of this equation so therefore we are going to get uh, x square minus uh, 22 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 121 plus likewise uh, x square minus uh, 44 x plus uh, 480 or equal to x square and where we can see this x square and x square is uh, gone and now we are going to combine the like terms so we are going to get uh, x uh, square minus uh, 66 uh, x uh, and then plus uh, 605 uh, rather equals to 0 so thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by grouping and uh, factoring. Therefore let's focus on this uh, constant 605. This could be broken down to 11 times uh, 55. And furthermore if I add uh, 11 plus uh, 55 that is going to give us indeed uh, 66 over here. So therefore, we can tweak this uh, middle term. This could be written as uh, negative 11x uh, 
minus 55 x as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see x is in common between these first two terms and uh, negative 55 is in common for last these two terms so therefore we could write uh, x uh, times uh, x minus uh, 11 and then minus 55 uh, times uh, x uh, minus uh, 11 is going to be equal to 0 and now we can see x minus 11 and x minus 11 they're in common so I can write uh, x minus 11 times uh, x minus uh, 55 equal to 0 and now since these two factors equal to 0 I can break them up I can separate them x minus 11 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be x minus 55 equal to 0 for this first equation x turns out to be equal to positive 11 for the second equation x turns out to be positive 55 units and now we can see that x equal to 11 is not feasible so therefore we are going to reject this uh, x equal to 11 value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to positive 55 so thus our x value turns out to be 55 that means uh, this x value is going to be 55 likewise uh, 55 and this uh, x minus 22 value 55 minus uh, 22 is going to give us 33 and this one uh, 55 minus 11 is going to give us uh, 44 and now we are going to focus once again on this uh, right triangle def and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle def and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, 33 whereas the height is uh, 44 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula so the area of this triangle uh, df is going to be a half uh, times uh, the base is 33 times the height is uh, 44 and if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us uh, 726 uh, square units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, square uh, a b c f and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s is the side length of the square in our case uh, the side length of the square is uh, 55 units so therefore uh, this square area is going to be 55 whole uh, square and that is going to be equal to 30 25 uh, square units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, pentagon and now let's recall once again this uh, equation the pentagon uh, area is going to be equal to the square area minus the triangle def area and we already figured out uh, the square area is 3025 and the triangle uh, def area is 726 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got square area is uh, 3026 uh, minus uh, the triangle def area is uh, 726 and if we subtract that is going to give us uh, 2200 uh, and 99 square units the area of this pentagon so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, pentagon turns out to be 2299 square units in other words the area of this uh, irregular pentagon is going to be 2299 square units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.